These are the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. I believe he got that plate and not the Smolder Rel duo, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't think we showed that. Yeah, could have been uh, could have been shared as well. Here comes Mohan level two, but also Showmakers here. Raptor, remember, does not have Flash, and he's already taken so much damage from the Ignite, and there's just no way to save him, as that's going to be first blood given to mid Nasus and a red buff just for bonus. Yeah. Basically not going to be doing too much in this game. And I love strategies like this where aiming just gets a free farm and everybody else is distracted as well. As the root's going to come down and uh-oh, Duro in a lot of trouble here. Not even going to bother to flash as he thought about it, but he's not going to. That is a kill easily fed over to aiming already. And when you have uh, some winning lanes, it gets a lot easier to play the Ivern, but BNK just kind of getting caught with their pants down a little bit here is they also get two and will secure three of the grubs. So, yeah. Kind of a disaster. They did not secure that Hextech Dragon earlier. They didn't complete it. He just gets to have a really fun time. And you know the other part of this draft as well is, okay, we're going to have a little bit of a 1v1 here. The Orn horn will be called. King in getting assassinated by Orn himself. But at the end of the day, does he have kill pressure? King might be forced to flash here as a flash comes in. And King in is just holding his flash and finally uses it at the very end. But going to clear the wave. Here comes Raptor. He is in position. Will he have vision of this? Yes, he will. Comes on in and King in. There's no wave here and well, clear will live as well. Okay, so they do barely get that kill in the game. They're like, okay, we're gonna fight for this. We have to. And um, I mean, they're gonna get one. I, I do fear for them for the rest of them, but they're bringing all five members up to the top river. Very much BNK style as they are going to throw down, but now Raptor kind of in a rough spot, already taking damage, goes for the Crescent Guard. King of though isolated, and he will be taken down pretty much for free. The Equalizer does a little bit of damage, but nothing compared to his death as that kill also goes to Closer. Yeah, Raptor, you know, had to ult, right? Was under a lot of fire there, but that's part of what Xin Zhao can offer you is basically this infinite brick wall that cannot be picked in a fight like this, in a skirmish like this, and then a very squishy rumble trying to come over and actually close the flank there very wisely yeah. staying away. It's first turret blood. I mean, it's going to be a lot here for Closer, who also got that kill on to King in. So I, I feel like this is actually BNK PRX making some big strides to come back in this game. I mean, you look at the gold, it's basically even. And yeah, the gold is in great spots for the side of DK, but you've also got some gold here on the Azir, who's going to be the main carry of the BNK composition. They're also going to get that first dragon 14 minutes and 41 seconds into the game. Yeah, getting turret aggro against clear here in the top side for some of our D-plus players, but will be fine, and now clear is not in the clear. Uh, we'll have to leave, and that's going to be a turret here taken in return. But well, we had the gold lead at like six minutes, was 1,000. That went up to 2,000. And now B and K are basically dead even in gold with a few picks, some really nice macro plays. And uh, there was a lot of laughing on the comms. But now they've got BNK to deal with as Moham, the target, but Izarel, do they have the damage? It looks like absolutely yes, as he gets blown up in midair, but now the damage coming out from the smolder, from that rumble, but King in frontlining once again, he does flash away as uh, Raptor finally does go down. And aiming at Showmaker still not dealt with, but it's still a man advantage here to the side of PNK Fear X as Showmaker is just smacking closer down and away from his team. So much damage coming out from the Smolder and the Nasus as they're trying to desperately get somebody else, but they will not be able to. X now, of course, as well. So once you have five points in that and you start to really stack and scale, the laning uh, E damage is very nice and all, but now he's a real Nasus. Now he's really bopping heads. Um, with that Q damage coming through. So DK would like to sack and, and start off with that Infernal Drake, especially with all their damage. Just trying to set up here is BNK, but now a line of brush is already coming in from the side of Lucid. Daisy keeping this one leashed and trying to poke a little bit with some trigger seeds and some shields going in. But this one is still leashed and Daisy getting pretty low. Might just come down to a smite here as it does go the way of Lucid and a big knock up from the side of Mohawk. And all of those team fight ults just raining down onto that back line. And Raptor is the one that has to pay clear as well as the rest of the team just could not fight because they were zoned. Yeah, Magnet Storm plus Equalizer equals dead B and K. Sets up the ultimate. Equalizer's layered on top. Smolder Mom layered on top. And that's the end of the fight. Raptor. He is his ultimate, but that's not going to be enough to keep him alive against five players. And now Baron 
Uh, well, Seraphine support doesn't really have any burst damage. No. So it's not going to be Smite, and Lucid's not going to mess around with that. So it's a little bit late of a stack for him in this game, but he is about to hit that break point. They've got that plus the scaling Nasses and the rumble damage. When Moam's going to hit big ultimates like the one we just saw. It just looks like these fights aren't going to be fights. They're just going to be walkovers. Well, you know, the equalizer in the turret, you have to walk alongside that wall. So he just doesn't really have a choice but to eat the damage. We'll get a little bit healed up here by Duro, but still, that is going to be a dead turret. I mean, this Baron uh, is stacking up to 2,500, 2,700. <laughs> you know, it's pretty huge. Your game to really just bully King in as much as possible. And it's worked, but you're not going to win the game by just killing the Rumble. Yeah, and even though the Rumble is behind, he still does a ton of damage when his equalizer is set up for success. And they have been able to do that pretty consistently. So they're just going straight to the Chemtech Dragon. And this is just game one as well, and the fact that DK pulled out so many curveballs for game one. I, I mean, I say so many. I mean, it's Nasus mid, it's, it's, they got the rumble as well. I feel like VNK not going to be quite as good as DK at adapting to a new patch. As Kingen trying to avoid everything. He's playing like a, a bullet game simulator. He's trying to avoid so many different alts and finally gets taken down. And yeah, I mean, they're going to kill the rumble again large amount of scaling on the side of DK as well that you can kind of just sit around and, and kind of just wait with your lead as that is what they're doing. The pick not really going to hit much. I mean, they get the flash at Elusive. They charmed. Oh, that's going to be a pick, though, onto Mohawk. They take down him, but he's just the support. What about the rest of the team as here comes Bob just going to burn everybody down? And the amount of line ultimate damage that DK have is insane. A test here. Raptor has flash. Oh, uh, no. But, yeah, they get the root here on a closer. You just got to be able to dash away. But Shoemaker is taking names, and this is what I was talking about. If you are a squishy on the side of BNK, you are just running. No attacking. Shoemaker is there. You run. You are running and cleansing and flashing. Um, and then and you clenching, are clenching, perhaps. Yeah, <laughs> and clenching a little bit. Um, and perhaps uh, yelling, screaming internally. A little bit difficult for Nasus, but I mean, there's a lot of different ways in the team and with his wither for him to close the distance. And if he does, he will two shot. I think Closer needs to get in contact with Riot support, man. Even at the ready, anybody gets caught, he just drops that one down. Yeah. The Showmaker presses Q and the turret's health bar goes to zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can also two shot uh, turrets as well, by the way. Uh, so good mention there. Uh, MR or tanks or, or health. No. Or anything, really. And that's going to help everybody on the side of DK. Everybody's got some AP. Now they're going to find Showmaker. That should be a big pick as he goes into ult and the redemption doesn't have him. And a four man out comes in from Moab. And they still have the smolder to hop over the wall to flap on over and get the damage done. Raptor will also burn. It's a triple kill to the smolder, is aiming no stranger to picking up all of the kills and all of the golds. And I said it the entire game, a lot of focus on the showmaker, you know, and all this stuff, but aiming just farming away. Seven kills on Smolder, and DK will win this first game in flying colors, with flying colors and in very fun fashion. It's clear not much he can do. A little uh, Mikhail's comes out from loose in the thumbs up just to set the tone for the specify. Because the one thing that I, I find to be very difficult for D Plus's composition to do is to stop Closer from carrying team fights consistently with this draft. They don't have a Nautilus. Yeah. I mean, King and job at the end of the day is to just absorb pressure and then eventually just be a front line for Smolder. And for Corky, we've definitely seen this before, but uh, this lane is not going to be a fun time by any means. So, especially because he still doesn't have a splashback, which he had to use uh, early on in the lane swap down in the bottom lane. Now, Lucid is going to, with the help of Moham, take down the first Drake, but three grubs did go over to BNK. Yeah, which is quite significant, especially when you have this Renekton in the side right now. They're more They're proactive, right? Still no kills here at 10 minutes, as now we're going to have a missed ult over the wall. The Maokai ult also coming over the wall, and now just a 1v1 between these two, and Clear has to flash the knockup, and the all-out coming in from the side of King, and he picks up first blood. As now Closer coming in with his own ultimate. No flash here for Kingen, so not the easiest spot for him. And should eventually be taken down. He's trying to trade here on a Closer. It's going to take quite a while to eventually take him down. And there they finally get him in the alcove as it is traded back. Yeah. Set up here for said Renekton. So very strong start here for B and K. Yeah. 
And I feel like this is kind of what you would expect uh, with the Renekton and Lilia. They don't want to let Aiming and Showmaker just free farm here. So trying to get some other big wins on the map, and they should be able to take down this first blood turret in the top lane as well. It's going to be some gold given over to Aiming. The Gold King! <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's still going to be a nice dodge. And they do get the Dragon, D+, plus, so it is going to be a two-drake lead for them. We'll see what the soul ends up being, because that will be very, very important. Could be Infernal or Hextech with the Smolder. Or Chemtech! Probably not. Right? Lucid? <laughs> yeah, it's Hextech. <laughs> so this two-drake drake lead for D+, plus is very significant, because if you have the Corky Rockets, the Smolder Poke, it's like, okay, well, the Grubs are going over. That's made an impact in this game already is we do have an all out. Yeah, all out in the bottom lane. Here comes Lucid as well, just for insurance, I guess. I feel like Kingan might have also just been able to take him down. Here comes that TP a bit late from the Zeri, but now going in is Lucid. He's going to be able to pick up the kill and closer can't do much, but Kingan once again kind of uh, in a really unfortunate spot as he will go down eventually. Big rotation over from the side of BNK to trade it back. Master and then will end up being a big threat, but closer does grab. Bunch of gold down here of plates. As now plates expire, we'll also get a turret. So he is online fairly soon. The item here yeah. for closer. I was going to mention it earlier, but now I guess we can talk about it. Yeah. I don't think the nerf was, was too significant. It was a nerf, and I mean, Terry was building it a lot before it got nerfed. I suppose she's just going to continue building it. At least that's the build that closer is going to go for. And, uh,. I mean, at the end of the day, he's still going to be scaling up, and he's really going to be the big carry. He's starting this one up now, and Kingen's coming down. Didn't have to teleport. D plus still want to play around with this. I mean, if they're going to give Lucid free entry out of this, he has his all, and Duro's just going in, trying to zone by himself. Lucid still in the tree. He spikes it down, ending in the kill on a Raptor. Big knockup, though, and now the Zeri's going to go bad. It's clear. He's also in the back line. A lot of empty targets here for B and K to try to go for. Meanwhile, King and trying to go 1v3 will get a kill. Maybe a second one as the knockup comes in, and he will be denied a second one. As BNK will win the fight at the end of it all. While. Yeah, he has, again, he, just like last game, like with the lane swap and, and not going into mid very quickly, he hasn't been able to just sit there and stack them super hard. Uh, and this composition is a little bit awkward without an arrow connecting. They just want to try to gank clear. Aiming is frontlining against Renekton, and the rest of BNK, they're not doing the dragon, they're just running down to try to save him. And I don't think that's going to work. An arrow's going to come in, it hits the Maokai. And now you don't have your Renekton. Bit of damage does come in now, but now the pick on to Closer. He is so dead. 100 to 0. Down he goes. Immense pick comes out from Kingen. And now just the rest of them are just trying to run away. Lucid is probably going to give his life for this. And a lot of damage coming out from Henna, actually. But eventually, it's not clean, but it's still an ace from and that, the side of DK. And it's 7k damage from Showmaker. Yeah, that could just be the soul going over. They don't have a jungler, but I mean, there's no one to contest. And with that final kill going over, everyone dead. I mean, that should just be enough. Even with the low health bars, Dragon doesn't do that much damage. His plays, despite the deficit, have been massive once again yep. here in this game. He's just a clutch master. That's what he does, and he's clutching it out again. Now Showmaker trying to go 1v1, but it's not 1v1. There's a croc, but Showmaker going to get the kill anyway. It's actually Lucid Sackling that gets the kill. Meanwhile, this fight on the bottom side is totally messy. Henna's not even in it. As yes, Showmaker will bite the dust. There is an arrow to hit aiming, and he's just barely out of turn range. Double kill goes over to clear, as this one is absolutely a mess. But they might still be able to take down clear another turret. Henna still not here. He's just in mid lane. And uh, <laughs> will they get clear? I guess not, but it's still going to be a one-team fight to DK. Yeah, they end up winning the fight, losing their jungler, and their mid laner, though, means that there's nothing they could do uh, as a result of said win. They get a turret. That's going to keep them closer here in gold. We're, we're, we're definitely in the we can rush Baron down territory as loose as ults. Yep, just going to zone the Moank. And with the Hextech Soul, I mean, Hanna just doesn't get to play the game. He's getting poked down from screens away. Imagine trying to play Ash into this. It's just not fair. It is not fair. Aiming still hasn't hit his breakpoint, by the way, which is kind of insane as well. I don't know what he's sitting on. Yeah, well, Closer. they're really trying to kill Mohawk Closer. here, and they might be able to. It looks very close, um, but eventually he does go down. Kingen trying to frontline now, a little sleep on the Lucid. They want to get some kind of value out of this, but Kingen's still standing guard, and they're looking to turn this one around, RDK. 
As now another engage goes in on a king. And Maduro's just dead. And now the bouncing damage from the side of Aiming. They get the all out here on a clear as finally 225 is hit. And Aiming is just running them down alongside of Showmaker, who is full health. And it's going to be another messy fight win to the side of DK. Higher game. DK uncontested on this Baron. There's no vision here. There's nothing that a, a sad Lulia could do to come over here and look to steal. And that's just going to be the Baron going over. That will be the gold lead fight by Hextech Soul. Uh-oh. Uh, Duro does have his ult available. Lose it, though. So tanky and a big ult over the top. But Clear's got a nice angle. Is it going to be enough? The damage, though, from the side of Smolder is just insane. Another lockdown comes in from Lucian as Henna is backlining, and he's dead. Well, that was confusing. Uh, Fear X are just going to run away as now Closer just trying to get out of this one. But he's going to be all outed as in goes the Cassante. It's a triple kill for aiming. And they're looking for a bit more. That was an insane amount of damage from the Lilia, but it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And it looks like this might just be the beginning of the end. Two very, I mean, honestly, very easy team fights here for D+. I mean, the last one looked a little bit shaky at the beginning, but this Hextech Soul is paying off in dividends. And I mean, yeah, he took a long time to get his stacks, but aiming, he's got eight kills now. He is stacked, and they're going to end the game. Well, they're definitely trying to do so. Duro, I think, by himself, not really able to do much. He slowed up again. He goes in. It's desperation, just trying to buy some time, and he will be able to do that, but the turrets and the wave are still alive. They'll take down both the Nexus turrets, and there's not much that BNK can do. Clear goes in. He dies, and Hannah and Raptor are just zoned away. All the slows, all the ticking damage, and Hannah just barely going to avoid that death. DK playing with their food because, well, they can. As in goes Raptor, and down goes Raptor, as does Closer. That's going to be the end of game two, as D plus Kia took them a while, but once they hit their spike, they won the game. Wait, yeah. But they get this Camille ahead, and then the Ziggs will still be a threat, will still scale pretty well. Maybe that's the best way to, to play this one out, because if they don't put any resources into clear, and as Camille falls behind, like you were saying, and if he makes a mistake, pressure's on, match point for D plus. Oh, a little face check to start us off. Aiming, um, getting it out of his system early. First blood given over to Closer on Corky. Most of the time, much more reliable, easier to use. Um, let's see what this fight looks like, though, as Moham's just kind of going in. Does have a bowling ball coming in from the side of Lucid as Closer not having much threat from mid, and now in comes the Satchel on aiming, but he's totally fine. Hannah trying to get that kill. He's actually not fine, has to flash away. Now Moham gonna go in, they do get the kill, but who gets out here? Moham has to flash, as he will go down. Closer picks up that kill, and so it's a trade one for one for the supports. On in and try to threaten here on the grubs, but maybe not actually, just no. kind of looking at them menacingly. Yeah, I mean, they get a little bit of health back, and it's it's like, oh, maybe I get in there. No, not, not really a good idea to go in there. Um, it, it feels like a very similar game to game two, where it's all topside for BNK. Showmaker. Yeah, it's a little face check. Flash on in to deny the flash to Showmaker. One auto, and the ignite is ticking, but Showmaker will barely survive. And now, level five, Alistair. Oh, and the six bomb over the top gonna take him down and yes they get the Alistair but it feels very good to take down Showmaker yeah still ultimately is a, a big win here for BNK close call there almost didn't get Showmaker but he backs in a pretty greedy spot and will be found by the bomb of aiming stacking time plus some additional stats from the infernal dragon which alone is quite nice Raptor just not here in time huh. aiming got the Q on that and uh, Raptor is going to lock that one down. I mean, remember, he does not have cleanse, so I think he just kind of dies. Yeah, he's he's dead. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, really the only cleansable thing in this game is the Maokai, but if the Maokai hits you, then you just die. And Max, now, and then gets bombed. <laughs> <laughs> there was vision of him. He, he uh, yeah, just a bit of a mistake from Showmaker. Yeah, no, he just, he was greedy. Oh! And he knew it. <laughs> entire bot lane turret taken out by Ziggs. And now the entire top lane turret taken out by Ziggs. Yeah, all you have to do once the Ziggs is unlocked for just a second, you just start satcheling turrets. And 
I mean, it's just so incredibly fast how you can punish with a Camille here. They're not done yet. Yeah, they're going to get a second topside turret here. Very likely demolish Will Proc. They're trying to dive here. I'm not sure about the dive, though, as Moham going to get it uh, engaged on. He goes back in as now he's in a bit of trouble. The sleep is coming down. Clear will avoid it. Gets the Q, but a lot of damage is coming up from Lucid. And the kiting begins. It's serious here. Oh, no. B and K in a really rough spot. They go a bit too deep. And they will be punished for it. You're not getting away from Zeri and Lilia. Maybe Raptor does with his Nimbus Cloak, but nah, he's just, yeah, he's just dead. Down he goes. That kill will be fed over to Showmaker. As a teleport punished to come out here on the last legs of that ward, Clear is looking for him. Yeah, he had a blue trinket, drops it down. He's going to spot him. And Aiming's in a lot of trouble here. There is no ultimatum. I'm not sure if he gets out, actually. Maybe a flap. And no, he just flashed. Follow flash. And a very nice punish here from Clear. Yeah, I'd love to know what aiming stacks are right now. I haven't seen it pop up for a while. Like, just trolling. Sure. Um, well, but... Uh, uh, trying to punish Clear. I, he doesn't have Flash. Hookshot coming in, but Magnus Storm denies. And now with Meganar coming down, he's just going to be ulted into the wall. One wall up will not be avoided. Nice try from Clear. One house will do it as uh, he will be taken down eventually. All right. Well... One step forward, two steps back. End up getting the pick onto aiming, trading flashes, but doesn't have any way out of that one. Didn't have his ultimate still, no flash. And just is greeting a little bit there, taken out by the Gnar. And you know, aiming has been shut down significantly, right? Like he's three, zero. Risky, but they got that first dragon again, and they're looking for the second one. Now, B and K, they have a Ziggs, and they have a Rift Herald, so a lot of damage is going to go into that mid-tier 1. They take down all of the tier 1 turrets. Yeah, D-plus should just walk away from this fight. I mean, this is not a fight you want to take right now unless you have the perfect engage, or if you punish Closer. Or if Lucid is just allowed to walk up to a dragon again. Or, Closer. as you mentioned, maybe Closer just... Okay, very nice Valkyrie. So it seemed like he had a good idea. Now here comes Clear over the top, going to isolate Mohab. And there it is, the Ziggs Bomb over the top, alongside of the Corky, able to follow up, and that's just a free kill on a Moham. Yeah, I mean, they just kind of watched the Dragon go and then ended up opting into trying to kill Closer there. It's another kill back, so BNK strike back again. And and look, the Corky has four kills. I'm still kind of... And, and Ziggs has a, a whole set of plates bottom side and not feel too bad about it. So that's that's good news for D-plus fans. King is going to get this turret. I just want to see more fights like the one we just saw, where B and K are playing oppressively around Vision. It's 280 carries. You just have multiple threats. Um, they don't have many turrets, though. <laughs> that is a fifth turret to fall already in favor of B and K. There's only one turret that went to DK. So most of this gold that is in the lead of B and K is coming in turrets and objectives. Is now they're just going to do it again. Press. Uh, an alt button and just get a satchel down onto a turret as now Moham finds the Omega angle from the jungle and a massive sleep is coming in closer gonna get the shutdown over to Seri there's a kill onto Duro and make it a third one they feed those both to the smolder and DK are right back in the game yeah got you some scaling right obviously got you some gold now they're getting a Baron and it may be traded for an inhibitor as clear is gonna be threatening that in mid lane this is also going to be tons of gold here for D+, as well as map control. And if it's mid inhibitor, you can just kind of always be able to push that one out. So it's a significant catch back here and a great call from clear. But there's just so many things you have to ban and deal with when you're playing against DK that he just gets real every game. As now we have another fight brewing here, not looking quite as good for DK actually, as now BNK have got him up against the wall. and. And Clear is going to get away. King and also pretty low themselves. Looks like BNK not really able to threaten or punish this too much. Though. And the fights get so much tougher. And, and Lilia, because she has all that extra gold, turned the arm guard into a Zonia's early. So now has a ton of extra armor, a lot more safety. And will be able to on command in these critical team fights. Yeah, which was certainly more in favor of DK. I mean, I, I still think it's winnable. But Smolder just hit oh, 225. And Moham is oh, up. Oh, Moham. Here. Just when we had a lot of nice things to say, he's just dead. Um, <laughs> now, there's no objective, no. but he's still dead. But if you outrange the Smolder with your Ziggs Q, so you just got to keep lobbing him in. Look at the zoning here as well from Hannah, trying to keep them away from this pit, but it won't last forever. 
It's a lot of damage, a bit of vision will be given by Mom, but look at Lucid, has to Sonya's. I mean, he cannot get by the six and he might just die to, uh, okay, aiming, trying to block for the jungler. But he's still gonna get this Baron. He's gonna get the Baron. Yeah. Really well played. Zig bombs on the ground, keeping them out. Decisive call from B and K. The well, even us up two to two. But that was really tough to play out for the side of D+. As Lucid just has to go to the Zonias. Is almost killed by Leandri's burn there off of that final Q. This is the power of Ziggs that is in a position where he can't really be touched. Yeah, clear is threatening this top turret. The inhibitor, like he says, a gimme. Then they can collapse here around that top turret. I mean, you are not safe, D+. When they said, we are not losing this game. As uh, Ingo's hanging, he is going to find closer. That's another stun with the wall up as now Bomb coming down in his sleep as well. But look at the damage that goes back on a lucid. But aiming gets the kill. And they finally find a way to take down closer. Duro. Yeah, Henna as well in a really rough spot. He has to flash away. He has the satchel for some extra range. And he will get away. Yeah, Duro is not going to get punished here. It doesn't look like here. This is the give up of the dragon I was talking about for. They want Elder to spawn. Yeah, they just don't really care about this dragon at all. It's not soul. And even if it were soul, you'd be like, well, oh, I'm not going to force a fight here with two inhibitors down. I guess we'll just wait for Elder. But by, for example, starting Baron and being confident in their turn, I feel like B and K are just not confident. Closer's in oh, closer. danger. Uh-oh. And the flash comes in. That's not... Okay, finally the sleep comes in, but a lot of members of B and K are here, but Closer's in so much trouble. Mohab finds the angle again. A lot of damage does come out from the Zinx, but he's just not in range this time. Look at that burst, but it just doesn't matter. As Clear also going to be isolated in the top side. The GA goes down for nothing. Thing. And already King in his backing. He wants to join the team on the push. That might just end the game. Yeah. One catch. Yeah. And they are just going to take this turret out essentially for free here. As the wave is coming through, they need that wave. King in, just keep pushing. <laughs> just keep pushing him. Yeah. Because, yeah, he's even flashing on him. I mean, in a 1v1, King will win, but Henna needs to clear the wave. That is a big Super Mega Inferno Bomb, and that is going to clear the wave. So, again, without Baron, I don't think you can end the game against the Ziggs. The question is, really, can D-plus get this Baron done before everyone respawns here? Closer's up an 8, but no TP. I think they might have a, a window here, but might be able to just barely get in here. He's got Flash. Here comes Duro, but, oh, he's just slightly too late. Raptor not in range. And he didn't want to go for a flip anyway, as now, looking to catch Moham, might be able to do this, but Raptor is going to take a bunch of damage. Moham as well, no, he's going to be taken down. So, DK, they lose their support, and they take the Baron, and they'll walk away with that. Oh. But the two of them are up in the top lane trying to push right now. Looks like gaming's going to back. I mean, there's no TPs, so I, I feel like overcommitting there would be a mistake. Yeah, Showmaker just picks up a GA, but they just weren't confident enough to do it. And D-plus, they absolutely were, and now with Baron, Starting to open the map up even further. Yeah, and Henna, I mean, he's trying to clear these waves, but the Mega Inferno Bomb doesn't do much, and it's up against Baron now, so this is going to be a different feel. Now, the, the wave clear is still very good, and now, from ahead, I, I feel like DK have a lot more options, so going to look to take down this mid inner and get the most out of the Red Bull Baron power play. Zero health, B and K are just going to hope and put everything on clear side lane push. And it's D-plus to start the Baron Valdez! Yeah. You gotta do something, you're not going to round two! Player is gonna try to join with the team. TP is coming in. The damage is ticking on this Baron already. Lucid in the pit. And they just have the damage on this one. Raptor being zoned away. He gets in the pit and it goes to Raptor! B and K get it, but down will go clear, I believe. Somebody up there on the top side. No, it's actually closer who was isolated, and so the Baron goes to B and K. Wait, he still has TP. An Elder greater than Baron, I think, in this situation, especially with a Smolder that's full build. D-plus with a huge win again, despite the steal from Raptor. He just get nothing in return in the fight. There's no turret, so you don't really have to dive anything, and that is going to be B and K. They have to back away. Yeah, they have the Meganar here for the, just a brief amount of time as well, so they should be able to get this inhibitor for free. Yeah, and they they would love to dive. <laughs> they would love to. Uh, B, B and K, if they give them an angle, DK will dive you. I mean, they have kind of an angle now with the, this wave here. How, how did this wave get in? And that wave holding. needs to be cleared. They're just getting a free turret. 
And now Duro's just gonna engage. That's a very nice engage. In goes the Camille. Big Wombo. Combo from Moham finds the engage. It's not quite enough. Where's the damage from DK? It is not quite there. They take out the Smolder. But King is in the back line as well. Trying desperately loose it as well. Trying. But it's not quite enough. VK will wipe D plus Kia in their own base. Super clutch move from Duro. Saving the game. It's like each individual player has his moment here for BNK. Cool. And it looks like we are going to four Valdez. I see the series <laughs> materializing on my hands, and I didn't think BNK had it in him to clutch this one out, but Raptor and Duro certainly did. It is never over until it's over. 50 minute game goes over to BNK, and we will have a fourth one on the cards. It's a it, it's a closer special, right? You have the Orn for setup in early game fights. Like there's a lot of ways for this Akali to actually get fed early if, if D plus makes some mistakes. Interesting that Duro almost baits that fight into happening and it feels pretty good for them. Yeah. Moham is like nice counter to Rel, by the way. They're going in here on a Moham as Moham trying to open up the skill for Duro, aiming once his gold, but it's first blood that goes over. Look at the flash! That's gonna force aiming to flash over the wall here himself. He's still fighting here against Henna as he does have to press the attack. Is it enough damage? Trying to dodge the Qs, is aiming. The Extendo Beam also dodges. Henna's gonna flash away. One more Q to hit aiming, and look at this. Showmaker is here in the bottom lane, and aiming says, no, that's my gold. You go back to your lane. Oh, they'll trade it for a Dragon here. As I like this from BNK. A lot of times, you know, BNK were on blue in the last couple of games, and they were getting the grubs, and DK weren't doing much because they were just Omega scaling. Yeah, uh, being care like, no, we're just going to get this objective right now. Uh, so, uh, again, seeing clear on Orn just kind of hurts. Well, I mean, look, it's still early days. I think there's a lot of ways to set up this Akali, but meanwhile over here, we're having a bit of a fight, a bit of a tussle. Oh, that knockup is so close to hitting, but now they're going to get the knockup from, you guessed it, the Rel. The Ignite comes in onto Duro. They're going very deep for this one, pretty forced from the side of DK, and the Zeri's getting a lot of value. Showmaker just going to flash away, especially with Closer coming on over very difficult to deal with, very difficult to escape from. We are going to have a bit of a tussle now over these grubs. D-plus have some topside cryo. Clear they, coming over. They don't know that clear is there, and aiming's in a really awkward spot. He has to flash the wall. Moham is kind of behind them, and now he's going to get the three-man engage in the Wombo Combo! Who could have seen this coming as everybody is going to get slowed up, and everybody on the side of BNK is just going to be ripped to pieces as it's three kills and a couple of extra bonus grubs. As DK, uh, DK rather, really take off in this game four. Well, they gave him Rel Valdez, and you know he found an angle. They've got the Asuo. You never really got a pick because aiming just flashes the Orn Horn. And yeah. so you're missing a lot of engage, and you know, eventually BNK just stick around for too long. And it's still. He's like, I saw 63! <laughs> still gets split. TP! Oh, uh, yeah, the TP comes in. The, the last breath comes out from Showmaker. Closer does get away, but they force the flash here, and the turret's gonna go down. So they don't get the kill, but they're still pretty happy with it. RD plus Kia. Duro, yeah. awkward spot here. He's getting run down by a Lilia, who is level 10. And now we've got a massive equalizer. Closer is out of the fight. The resets are used to disengage. And there are no resets to be had. D plus Key are, are kind of just owning them here in game number four, not there. Yeah. I mean, Closer is, this is his his game now. Well, he's on a ward, so. Yeah. He can't farm. King knows where he is, and he can see him, I, and he's burned to a crisp. He knew it. We knew it. He was like, I probably die, but I guess I, I need to kill the minions, and Kingen will also die. <laughs> Yeah, uh, again, not the cleanest series. He's trying to actually punish Raptor, and Raptor's gonna burn down as well! And yes, the shutdown goal does go over to the Zeri, but DK are getting wins elsewhere. I mean, they're getting the mid turret. Top turret. Top turret. They can get the Herald. It's uh, it's just such a huge, I mean, it's 6,000 gold data, 15 minutes. It's not playable. Valdez, and I mean, they're so desperate to save the bottom turret. We, if we rewind all the way back, like closer TP'd in to flash and lose the turret. Also, Lucid very far ahead in the jungle. I mean, we haven't talked about him at all, but he's also just, it's a very happy Lilia or slash jungle game where you just get super far ahead. Also still probably just on top of the gold. It is still a gap, you know, and it's hard to kill this misfortune that Don't has- Don't do it. Oh, he's going in. Um, It's okay. It's okay. Okay. 
Oh, I was getting scared. Uh, aiming has to flash away, but now you've got a rel. But the reset, the heartbreaker coming in onto aiming, but he can't get the kill. They cannot extend enough, and it was desperation to try to take down aiming in the first place. I mean, I, I, the damage he's got barrier, and now Duro is going to get burned down a little bit. This is 17 minutes into I mean, the game. Yeah, threatening the inhibitor turret, and they will get it. Not even close to a defense here. No, no answers, no opportunities. Closer is backing. Done in the lane, and we haven't seen it have really a good team fight just yet. Kingen is in the brush here, and uh, he's got the entire team following up, but clear he really wants to take down Kingen. Kind of trying to reminisce from game one, if you remember, Kingen got bullied a lot, but here are a lot of members of DK. That's a kill, and Mohab gets the three-man ult again! Again, who could have seen that coming as Closer? Is trying to run away, he's gonna ult two away, but here comes Lucid trying to dive alongside a Mohamu who's gonna tank the turret. And Lucid might just have the speed up to get it done. The sleep is coming in. And one bowling ball can get the job done. It's <laughs> oh, Duro! Oh, that's so sad. It is so sad, but I think he knows this one is done and dusted Valdez. 14 kills to three. This is like when D Plus took Gen G down last time around. We haven't seen too many one-sided games like this, but and D-Plus' games have been pretty long, you know, pretty drawn out, but not this one. Not this one. 20 minutes, two inhibitors down. I think it's going to be that man right there with the the horse pants and um, now a Baron buff under him. Who do you think right media is going to vote for? Yes, well, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I agree. All or right, look, aiming, I mean, he has a lot of... He has a lot of look, at this, look at this angle. Yeah, I mean, clear. I mean, he's trying to be the Orn engager. Yeah, I mean, maybe this was one of the reads from, you know, their scrims and from the new patch. They say, okay, we really like clear on Orn. We like the way he's able to enable our carries, but um, kind of difficult to see that he's hex charging up the hex flash. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, the cuteness probably not enough as clear. He's, he's well, he's got an angle that is going to hit three people. Duro goes in, and well, you guessed it, the Relult onto three people again. And there you go, the Wombo Combo Comp is going to win game number four. And D plus Kia will be moving on to round two of the Uri Bank playoffs. And there you have it, 19 to three, 23 minutes is game number four. Nothing like game three and DK, they get the cherry on top. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK summer split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.